Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA, having survived over one week in my new casita. <laughs> yeah, I'm finally getting used to getting around. It's a pretty small space, but anyway, it is very, it's a very nice RV, and I'm very happy I got it, so that's enough said about that. Now, if I can just get my coachman sold, the world will be round again. It's also Bananaville, okay? For those of you that notice things like in the background, like the bananas. Anyway, <clears throat> what else is going on? It's a cool day. We got a, a cool front coming in this afternoon or this evening, and it's put the highs and lows next week are 50 for highs and 40s for low. I mean, that's but, but it's going to be probably overcast and stuff. But it'll be it'd be okay. It'd be cool. Get check out my heater in the deal. So anyway, <clears throat> what can I tell you? Uh, Hey Google, good morning. Good morning, Rusty. It is 7.42 a.m. Currently in 78611, it's 68 and cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 87 and a low of 48. Have a nice day. You too, thank you. Hey Google, tell us a joke. I wonder why toasters have a setting that burns bread to an inedible crisp. <laughs> that's, that's a joke. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 38. Whoa, you guys getting cool out there where you people live. Well, it's winter time. I saw some, whenever you see geese flying over, of course I saw some flying a month ago, but yesterday afternoon I was out on the patio having my little sit to with myself and a little flock of geese flew over and you know why you know they fly in a v formation you know why one side is longer than the other because there's more geese on that side <laughs> anyway good morning ladies and gentlemen Brit, Brit h says i think it's very nice for one person this is the little guy and I'd pay 26 k for it, but probably not the original price. Well, you know, it is what it is, you know. I like my casita. Dennis78382. Hey, Rusty, I hope that you're having a great weekend, my friend. Well, <clears throat> I thank you for that comment, Dennis. And I have to say, I'm not sure what great a great weekend is for me, other than just being healthy and enjoying my life. And I've done that. It's really nice. Right now, the temperature outside is about 66, 67 degrees. And uh, here it is. In town, it's always warmer. But no, it's nice. It's just calm. And it's overcast. You know, it's like a fall day. I like it. Uh, this is uh, DJN, DJN in something. Thumbs up to you. Thank you. Eileen, Eileen Fostel says, I am so jealous have the old style oh the old style jacks yeah a lot of the casita owners have those the old kind you had to get a wrench and they were i don't know how they, i never have used them so i can't really tell you how they work but i did see them a couple of times and i thought god how do those things work anyway pamela Tihi says this is on the jacks since i know nothing about rv do you level your rv with the jack on the front i know i'm ignorant i'll just admit it well, I'll tell you exactly how to do it, and it'll make it easy for you. <clears throat> when you get your RV on your spot, if you will, uh, get you some blocks and kind of try to level it left to right first. You know, get, get the bubble close to in the middle as you can using your little blocks or whatever you've got under your tires. Okay, Then you can use the front jack that raises and lowers the hitch to raise and lower it to get the bubble closer to the center, okay? So that it's not too high in the front or the back. Once you've done that, <clears throat> then you can finish it off using what are called those stabilizer jacks. They'll help a little bit, but not much. Anyway, hope that helps. Dr. Dan, don't forget to wax the underside while you are down there. Oh, you can bet on that. Yeah, that's what I was fixing to do is crawl around under the bottom and wax it. Yeah. That's what by hand, yeah. That, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah, the the first time this thing gets whacked, waxed, it'll be when Mother Nature rains wax. 
<clears throat> Hi, Desert Barb. Thumbs up to you. PJ2005 Kentucky. Two zeros. Nice wheel chocks. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's probably a board or something. I don't know. I have two. I only have two. A uh, nice, oh, Nancy Rainey Rogers. Good information. Thank you. Thank you. Dan F. Well, Rusty, I noticed you haven't done any driving videos since you came home with your baby. Well, you're right. I haven't, but I'm going to do one today because I want to. What am I going to talk about? I don't have a clue. When I turn my cell phone, it'll come on out here. Uh, anyway, what you know, <clears throat> I had some people ask me about editing. How do I edit my videos? <clears throat> I don't edit anything ever. I mean, what you see is what you get. I don't change. No, whenever I turn the thing on and start recording, whatever goes off here comes out here, and that's the end of that, and it stays there. Dr. Dan, change is good when you initiate it yourself, not so much when it's someone else involving you in change they are initiating. Well, I don't get involved in those situations, Dr. Dan. Try not to. <clears throat> Jam RV Kids on the jacks. So you're telling us you have a jacked up trailer. LOL. Love the video, Rusty. Two thumbs up. Okay, you got two thumbs on one hand? I, no, I got you. Ted Armstrong has a long comment here. I'm going to read part of it. Says, uh, this is on the Casita. Thanks for your review of the Casita. I live full-time in a 17-foot fiberglass escape trailer. I do drag my trailer all over the countryside, and it pulls really well with a small vehicle. <clears throat> anyway, Ted likes the escape better than the Casita, each to his own or her own. Dr. Dave Minky. Hello, Dr. Dave Minky. Says, hi, Rusty. Each opening... You say, hey, Google, good morning, and it replies. Hi, Rusty. The time is 7.48 a.m. Right now in 78611, it's 68 and cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted <clears throat> high of 87 and a low of 48. Have a wonderful day. Anyway, he asks, he says, it replies back with your name and such. How can I set my Google up? to say hello to me with my name and stuff like you have morning locally well you can go to the settings and do some stuff there best thing to do is watch a youtube video about how to set up your google home device or just call google home phone number and let them walk you through it that's the easiest thing if i tried to tell you i'd probably screw you up anyway a lot of comments hurt on the jacks david bricky when i had my travel trailer i had the same jacks used the same system system only mine electric drill <clears throat> i had a i got electric drill it's right there in the picture uh laser racer six your wheel chocks look a bit stoned <laughs> yeah i use rocks whatever's handy <clears throat> tracy phillips that's a good improvement yeah it definitely is mike warner footwear not manly do I give a crap? If somebody wants to check out whether I'm a man or not, just bring it on. Sheesh. Not man you. Anyway. Duda. Got an emoji of a, uh, looks like a pumpkin. Thank you, Duda. Tracy Phillips, great review, Rusty. On your way to 21,000, friend. Yeah, you know, subscriber numbers are interesting, but they don't, it's good to have, I guess, because it raises your view count, and it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm glad. I, I'm tickled, but I, I certainly don't live to get subscribers. I do the videos the way I want to every day, as many or as I want to, and, uh, and just let it go where it goes, because I don't have much to do, and I don't mind doing short videos or this or whatever. Anyway, Russ, RV Freedom 37, I only use the old style jacks. Anyway, well, that's good. Uh, Kenda Gamble on dehumidifier. Is it safe near wiring? Yeah, as far as I know. Check it out. Uh, Cynthia LG on comment called, Dang, if you can see through bricks now since you're using that nightlight, I'm getting one. Yeah, I have muscular regeneration in my eyes. They're getting like x-rays. I'm not kidding you. Muscular regeneration. That's what I have. <clears throat> Lost comma. Love you, Rusty. 
love that off-white color that's on a new coachman called beige lol i do love the way you talk it makes you unique which why i think you will become even more popular keep the rubber side down <clears throat> okay and here's one james mcveigh says nice crocs ta-da thank you james mcveigh there's an individual with taste and couth talk to a tree 1880 that's the individual's name and this is on casita talking hey rusty enjoy your videos and i noticed that that road looks familiar and realized it's near one of my favorite state parks yeah that's uh, inks lake state park also on the same road is uh, longhorn caverns state park elisa carroll on the little guy rv another link for this trailer the the covers <clears throat> that covers many of the details. So click on the link Elisa left. Burkany Bur Ken Bur B Beckany Beckany Miller. Your truth is refreshing. That's on a class B something I did. Ain't much telling. Uh, D B K Y D Dibke here on the coachman. I wonder what the gas mileage is. I uh, eight to twelve, I guess, depending on how you where you are in the wind. I'd never buy a new one, but thanks for letting us take a peek. I was just trying to show a variety of RVs. I tried to show the little ones and the big ones <clears throat> and the cheap ones and the expensive ones. I just, you know, and I don't do a detailed review. I just, you know, show you what's there. And if you want to check it out further, you can. A lot of people criticize my videos because, well, you don't give enough detail. Well, I don't give enough detail because I don't want to give enough detail. All I want to do is just show you the RV and so an overview and if you're interested uh, go to their website and check it out i mean i'm not going to do all the work for you <clears throat> the letter wood we have the old jacks do scissor jacks fold up and stay permanently yeah my, as far as i know this is mark ashlock he's got a long comment on the he says so i have a 2018 sd casita i guess that came with the old style jacks so i had little house put on some screws I believe they are either six or eight thousand pound capacity uh but anyway <clears throat> yeah they're good jacks they work faye calder hope your saturday was groovy yeah it was groovy all right i did a whole lot what did i do nothing oh i know what i did i went and met a an individual at uh that was looking at my coachman <clears throat> says he's gonna buy it I, you believe in the tooth fairy uh, Jola Will, J O L A W I L. The tin ceiling is awesome. That's in the tiny home that I did a long time ago. Yeah, it had a like a, a tin, a tin ceiling. You could see it on the inside. It was. I thought it was okay. This is on camping in Guadalupe Mountains. Bama boy, Bama boy has climbed that peak. The one you show as El Capitan, Guadalupe Peak, is behind it. Okay. I've never climbed either one of them, and I don't really care to. <laughs> They're pretty. No, I'm not a mountain climber. Uh, this is on the uh, Jacks, R Roger St. Martin. They are okay, but like anything else, it has its ups and downs. You got that? Jacks, ups and downs. Cute. Very good, Roger. Just keep taking your medication. You'll be all right. Veronica Brown. It is cute. <clears throat> Thank you. Rocomo One, thumbs up to you. John Gertbach. Not very nice little camper on the little guy. Yeah, it is nice. They are nice. <clears throat> yeah, I looked real hard at them, but I can't hang with that price. You know, twenty-six thousand is their bottom line. Pretty close. Uh, I don't. You might be able to get them to twenty-five, but I doubt it, because they sell them, sell the hell out of them. Wanda Laus, L-A-U-S-E, Loose Laus, I guess, on the tiny home. Uh, seriously, you're showing a cabin, blah blah blah, and the price is ridiculous. Well, that's interesting you know I, I i don't i'm not a salesman for those people I've, i say that in the opening anyway liz childers uh, we put four scissor jacks on our independence casita so whenever we sell it the new owners will be sitting very stable actually i've got two jacks down and this thing is just as stable as a rock yeah i'm not kidding i mean it's fine i'm very pleased well the reason is fiberglass doesn't flex <clears throat> this is on my casita sherry Breyer. Hi, Rusty. Really enjoyed your video. Looking forward to seeing more. Have a blessed day. Swivel, swivel, swivel. See that? <laughs> uh, 
B Alton, you have you have to become a midget. That's for the 2018 travel light. Uh, Mr. Dan, I'm curious, how do you wash clothes? Do you have a washer on property? I did. I had a washing machine for a long time. Got rid of it, though. Uh, too much trouble to fool with it. So I got rid of it, and uh, now I just go to the laundromat once a month. That's it. That's it. Cost me five bucks a month. <clears throat> and it's fine. Doesn't bother me five cents. And when I'm traveling, do the same thing. Sherry Breyer, have a great day, Rusty. Thanks for the health tips and being so positive. Well, thank you, Sherry Breyer. Enjoy your life. Here's RV Rebel Girl. Nice, Rusty, on the jacks. John Bruce. <clears throat> and John Bruce says, that concrete pad was a brilliant addition to your home base. Things on the ground are so much easier to accomplish. Yeah, no, I'm very, very happy with this. I'm very happy with how everything turned out. I got rid of the deck, a ton of junk. No, we, we have cleaned this place up. To, for me, I think it's wonderful. I mean, I can walk. It, there's nothing here, man. Nothing. Uh, no name. Rusty seems like seems like a happy, good old boy. Yeah, I seem like that. I, I am, as far as I know. Uh, we got a few more here. I'll, maybe I can get them. Bong Koi Lim. That's the name. Love the bananas hanging from behind. Yeah, those are neat. Those are uh, real. <laughs> Imagine that. Van and Halen, the casita is just a new banana hanger. Well, it is. It's a $20,000 banana hanger. Der Trixa and greetings from Germany. Der Tr good, good morning, Der Trixa. How are you? Oh, he's from Ger Germany. Vig Eights. Sarah J. This is on the little guy. Nice, but as you say, research used cute small ones. One or two years with a warranty to find problems. Can find small ones or anything camped in once. Anyway, she says, but it's cute. This is on the tiny home. It says, um, this is Burkani Miller. How much for delivery to Louisiana, or is it pick up and self-assemble? I wonder. Thank you, Rusty. Your channel took a while to catch my attention, but I've subbed and bailed, whatever that means. Good content. Well, thank you, Beckany. And as far as getting the tiny home, if you're watching this, in the video, I mentioned, mentioned the name of the manufacturer. It is called Dirksen Storage Building, D-E-R-K-S-E-N. If you will do a Google search for the nearest manufacturing location near you or sell, a sales place, give them a call and work it out, I guarantee you. But anyway, guys, what else? Hey, Google, tell us a joke. Why do cows have bells? Because their horns don't work. <laughs> this is nut, isn't it? <laughs> this is my companion here. Hey, Google. Are you my friend? Know how you can tell we're friends? I answer questions for everyone. But for you, I try to make the answers extra special. Oh, thank you. You got it. <laughs> Lying. Lion dog. You say that to everybody, don't you? <laughs> anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609. Wishing you a good start to your Sunday morning and a good start to your life. Every day is a new day to begin a new life. And uh, thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission and it does not cost you one penny. Some of you are and some of you have and I appreciate that very much. Somebody must have used it yesterday because I noticed a little blip up. So <clears throat> thank you whoever that was or whoever y'all were, you were. And what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout kidney stones and it'll help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to snack so much. And what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. If you don't believe me, check it out and that is very, very good for you. And then what else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Walk, walk, swivel, swivel. Exercise your body at least once or twice a day. You'll never regret it. What else? 
Stand guard at the door of your mind because what you let in are ingredients. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head, your mind, where your thoughts are formed, okay? You know, keep it cleaned up just like you keep your house cleaned up, you know, or your car or whatever, you know? And, uh, you know, accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative. That's it, guys. So having said that, uh, we'll do a driving video today, and I'll post another RV video of some RV I did at that RV show. Because I did, I did several of them while I was there. I just spent two hours going from one to one to one to one to one. <clears throat> and I think I ended up with about 20, which is good. I wanted to do that. And anyway, what else? Uh, it's a nice day here in Central Texas. I'm looking forward to taking a nice drive, and we'll, we'll chat about something. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.